What is up everyone, Super Tom here and in today's video I'm going to deep dive into Bao's burst build and see how much energy recharge you should invest in her for it to be worth it. Basing on the current information we have on her of course so disclaimer that this may change if her stats are fixed after the beta test from miHoYo. Now before we jump in I'd just like to say that it's the start of August so my monthly walk-in giveaway is happening right now if you want to have a chance to win and save up some primos for bow be sure to subscribe to the channel and join our discord server to enter link down in the description so without further ado let us jump in now i won't go over her skills and stats again as i've already covered that in depth in this video of mine be sure to check it out as i also discuss some of the community misunderstanding of her skills in that video however if you're going to be building her as burst dps which is actually what mihoyo wanted her to be, here are a few things to note is that for burst dps she won't be having fill time during her normal attack phase and will only be there to cast her burst and deal damage during her burst number two her burst damage is scale off of one how much burst energy your other team member consume before bao uses her burst and number two the amount of energy recharge she has because her talent two gives her electro damage based on the energy recharge and her burst deals electro damage now with this in mind you're probably thinking pushing bow's energy recharge level to as high as possible for burst dps is the way to go because you can spam her burst more often well it depends and here's why if you're thinking that you'd want to push her energy recharge as high as possible so that you can spam her burst more often then that's not the case because you see you'd normally only need to have a character's energy recharge to a certain amount of sweet spot for them to consistently spam burst because unless you're running the character solo you will almost always have other battery support in your team let's have my coaching team here as an example i want to spam her burst however i currently need almost no investment into her energy recharge because i have other character on my team that can support this as you can see here after she casts her burst i'm already switching to like bennett special and then kazuha to spam their e skills so by the time i get back to kuching she almost already have her burst back on during cooldown which is already enough for her now obviously kuching's burst is only 40 energy and bao is 80 so in this case with the right team comp and bao's energy to roughly 125 percent energy recharge she can already easily spam her burst and so therefore spamming her burst here is not the case but the question begs what is the best way to maximize her burst damage because the more you advance into the end game especially the abyss you realize that it's important to find ways to min max your damage along with your energy recharge since ideally speaking you won't want to have burst on cooldown all the time now looking back at bao's kit at this point in time what energy recharge do for her is she boosts all of your team members burst which is amazing and she's also boosts her electro damage so for burst dps bao the short answer is yes it's definitely good having Having as much ER on her as possible like at least 200% energy recharge but it still depends on the artifact sets and weapon that you will be running for her which is where we will now hop into her artifacts build so when it comes to burst DPS the most well known and one of the newest artifact sets is the four piece emblem fate sets and this is of now her best burst DPS set however there's a few things to note here and I I just want to clarify with all of you guys here is that with the four piece emblem fate where you get the burst damage bonus from your energy recharge this bonus will only apply to bow's initial slash of her burst it will not be in effect when she's using her sword during burst now this is not official and it's only something from the tester but official or not it's like 99% that the bonus won't be applied to her sword as if it does it will just make bow way too broken during her burst therefore the only time where you get bonus from four piece sets is that the damage of her initial burst attack all the remaining attack that she does will not have any bonus from the set so she won't get any attack bonus from her normal attack which doesn't really count as we're talking about burst dps bow her 100 uptime e skills will also 
will not get any damage bonus and her attack during sword animation will also be lower. However, the amount of damage dealt from her initial burst slash will most likely be so high that it actually makes up for the lower damage output from her other skills. Now we won't know for sure until bows come but it's safe to say that this will still be her best set in slots. And that's where I want to get my second point that you want to take into consideration is that the emblem bait set is the new set in which you do not have a lot of time to farm like all the other sets from previous patches. Therefore unless your luck are godly you'll be likely to be spending a lot of resins to get the main stats that you want like you're seeing the results of my farming here is of almost no purpose whatsoever towards bow thank you so much rng i love you but that's not the only thing the set will also requires you to have a decently good crit rate ratio sub stats the reason why i tell you this is because unlike many other characters bow do not have access to crit rate and crit damage while leveling up therefore normally you have to find different ways to make up for this by having crits in your weapons and artifacts but again for bow's case your weapon will most likely be having energy recharge as passive isn't it so how do you get high crit ratio well this is going to be on your luck of course that's right beat the rng system that's where the sub stats of your artifacts comes in and also your circlet therefore the four piece emblem even though it's her best set it will most likely cost you a lot of resource and time to have a decent set with decent crit rate ratio if you're farming for this set however your sans i would recommend recommend having attack percentage over energy recharge because you'll be able to deal more of her damage during sword animation in her burst. Also her E skills will deal much better damage. The goblet should be electro damage and circlet is definitely either crit rate or crit damage. Now here are Bao's alternative sets which are the gladiator 4 piece and 2 piece glad 2 piece thundering fury. I say the emblem fate 4 piece along with these two alternative set would have too much difference in terms of damage dealt however the support capability wise emblem fate is still better because it gives bow more energy recharge therefore better at boosting your team's burst however whichever set that you have better substats for crit ratio on just go with that set because a set with lower crit is always not worth it and we're not done yet you also have weapons that can also affect her builds for bow's burst dps weapon the five star option will always be better so just go with the 5 star options if you have them. Best in slot for burst DPS is obviously the grass cutter, it's her main weapon. Next in line is the skyward spine because it has energy recharge as secondary stats and high base attack. Its passive is also very decent which gives you a bit of crit rate that she lacks and attack speed. Next is the staff of Homa. If you have it because of very high damage output it can give to Bao as well as crit damage a secondary stats. After that is Jade Spear for its high base attack and crit rate. The reason why I rank it lower than Homa is because its passive is harder to proc before Bao uses her burst to get the effect as Bao isn't a main DPS here in this case. And finally the Vortex. For Bao's 4 star weapon ranking, the catch which is a new free 4 star weapon you'll be getting is the best in slot. I don't know if we'll get its refinement option as the event weapon. I hope we do because R5 catch may most likely rival a R1 Skyward Spine which is Bao's 5 star second best option. If we do have its R5, I'll definitely make a video comparison on this. Next is the death match or Black Cliff Pole. They're basically on the same level if you have both just choose whatever that Bao's crit is lacking in. The reason why I rank these two higher than other energy recharge 4 star poem is that they're base attack together with their passive are just much better than the remaining 4 star poem with energy recharge. Okay after that we have the Favonius Lance, very high base attack with decent energy recharge and then finally the prototype star glitter. Now one thing to note is that if you're going to go with an energy recharge weapon then your sans here is recommended to be attack percentage but if you're using a weapon other than energy recharge then your sans can be considered to be either energy recharge or depending on which stats you feel your bow is missing out on. Now I hope that I've covered most of the things on her burst DPS build. If there are any comments or discussion 
feel free to leave down in the comments and I will get to you there as I always love to find out more about Raiden Shogun. If you'll be pulling for Bao, you can check out my videos where I estimate how many primos you can get before she comes or if you'd like to understand everything about her skills, there's a video for that too. If you enjoy my content on Raiden Shogun, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I will be posting her main DPS build and other her team comp in the next videos. With that, this is Tom wishing everyone a super day.